I'm going to start by first creating a screen size canvas and let's see what we're going to paint today. I'm thinking maybe like a sunset, something maybe, maybe even in a forest. We're going to see what we have going for us here. Okay, I'm going to start by grabbing an airbrush. Zooming out a little bit, creating kind of this warm sunset. I'll add some blue on the top. Let's go up here to the gauge blur and blur it a little bit out. So now I have this nice gradient. Now I'm going to add in some clouds. I'm going to do this by grabbing the Procreate Artistic Paintbrush Leatherwood and I'm just going to sketch in some fun shapes, make them as cloud shaped as I can. Maybe some in the distance, but I want the ones on the bottom of the screen to be a little smaller. So that's going to help give that idea that they're a lot farther away. Maybe I'll make that one extra puffy. And then maybe I'll do one like coming in from the top. Cool, super duper easy sky in just a few seconds. And if you want to make it even easier, you can distort it a little bit, give some more perspective, or you can just leave it as is. I think I might go a little bit. That looks good. Now I'm going to get some lighting going on in here. So I'm going to go back to our first layer, get a lighter yellow color, and let's grab an airbrush. Maybe right around here and grab a bright yellow right where I kind of am thinking the sun is going to be. So right, maybe right in here. We're going to have a little sun. Now I'm going to go add the lighting to the bottom of these clouds. I'm going to go up to my layers panel, add a new layer, create a clipping mask, and then get this color and find maybe I'm going to go for like an orange. Grab that same leatherwood brush and then go to kind of the bottom surface of the clouds and just kind of add in these little highlights that are on the bottom here. And then maybe I'll make some even redder the more they go up. And then closer to the center, I'm going to make them a little bit more vibrant. Let's actually erase some of this right here. And you can always go back with eraser tools and kind of carve out your shapes as well. There we go. I'm going to grab some lighter orange yellow, add this in the bottom here, right where the sun is really hitting these clouds. Go even lighter. We're still on that same layer that is a clipping mask on these clouds here. There we go. Getting some interesting textures in here. Add a little bit lighter to this. Now I think I'm going to merge this down so it's all one layer now and then I'm going to grab a soft layer brush and kind of make these clouds appear a little bit softer by smudging the background with the cloud. A little bit more wispier. 
something fun I think I want to do is go create a new layer and shove it back behind this cloud layer. And then let's grab maybe like a pink, pinky color. And then add some pink clouds. Kind of like in the background here. Make them even brighter. Like the sunset's kind of coming through here. Alright, I'm liking it. Let's change the saturation a little bit. Maybe change it to a little bit more orange. There we go. Cool. Now, I think I'm going to add a foreground in here. Let's grab green. Maybe I'll make it a little bit more vibrant. Get some hills going in the distance, lighten them up because they're for a little bit further away. Maybe make them a little bit more pale. And then go back in with this darker one and add those hills back in. Like that. And then maybe add some colorful flowers in here to kind of balance out this down here. Let's grab a grab a tree brush and then fill in maybe some very distant tr evergreen trees. Maybe they get a little bit bigger on the sides. Maybe they get a little smaller in the middle. It's kind of like rolling hills of these trees and I'll add a few more darker ones in the foreground. Make them a little bit more orangey, <laughs> I guess, because of the lighting. Alrighty. Maybe I'll add a little patch right here. And then I'll have to erase some of the bottom to kind of blend it in a little bit. Erase a little bit of this. Now, I'm gonna go back to our sky and then grab our smudge tool again. Grab kind of like a stylizing brush and really define this focal point right here. Kind of directing the clouds to this one general area. Maybe there's like light coming out of some of them. Behind some of them. And then I'm going to make this a little bit more defined right here. I grab a yellow. Go back in. that same smudge tool as earlier. Brighten up some of those areas a little bit. Do a little upside down look. We can always flip it horizontal to see maybe where I want to change something. So I'm really feeling like this foreground is a little bit more vibrant than I wanted. So I'm going to flatten this up, go up here to this, and turn the saturation down a little bit. Maybe make the hue of slightly more orange. There we go. I'm gonna go back to this very first layer that we had, and then I'm gonna also adjust, oopsie, this brightness of the background that we have here. 
play around with the saturation and different colors of it. Then I feel like it still needs a little bit more. So let's go add some grass up to the front. Super easy. Maybe I'll go way down here. And I'll add in an overlay layer with some highlights so we can get a little bit more lighting going on. I feel like right in here it's really coming through. And then I'm gonna click on overlay or you can mess around with the different settings. Maybe I'll do add this time. And then I'm also going to add some shadows with my airbrush by getting a blue, kind of framing this a little bit. And then turning on an overlay layer so it really directs your eye to this midpoint. Then what else should we do? I think I'm going to add maybe like a little bundle of birds, a little flock. Let's get a bird brush. There we go. Got some birds going on in here. That looks really nice. Cool, so now we have a little flock going. Maybe I'll add I have another lower one down here that's farther away. Erase a few of them so it's not the same thing the entire time. Alrighty, let's flip it again, see what we're looking at on this side. Okay, I'm liking it. I think last thing I want to do is maybe add a few little stars in this corner. So I'm gonna grab some stars. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll add just a little tiny one, just slip in way up here, or a couple, <laughs> or maybe one that's peeking through over there, and then I will make this a little bit brighter by doing add, so you can kind of see them coming through, and maybe in the far away distance, because I can't not draw a landscape without adding a mountain. I'm gonna add a hill. Ooh, maybe, yeah, I kinda like how those clouds are like low over there. Maybe we add a big mountain. Just kidding, that would cover up our sun. That would defeat the purpose. <laughs> there we go. And then turn it down a little bit. Shift it back. Let me see what it looks like in front of our clouds. Ooh, that looks pretty nice too though. Turn it up a little bit. Yeah, that looks really nice. Maybe I will <laughs> keep it there. Then I'll add just a little bit of atmosphere atmospheric perspective with an airbrush down here. Because we still have that light coming in. Maybe I'll grab this blue and add it to the sides. And then I'll make my bird layer all one layer and then I will alpha lock it and add a little bit of highlight so the birds don't look like they're just super dark from the sun like hiding in it. <laughs> there we go. Alright I think this is it for our landscape. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and it was easy to follow along. If you ever follow this tutorial and create this landscape, I would definitely love to see it. So please tag me on my Instagram and 
Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in my next tutorial. Bye guys.